Before we begin, I would like to apologize about my voice. As you can hear, I got sick and I know it's not the most appealing sound to listen to. I know I'm a bit late to the party, but here is a Dead Island 2 optimization guide video anyway. I will be going over the settings menu, talking about the general quality of the port and most importantly, comparing and benchmarking each setting for graphics and performance differences and giving you my optimized settings. Generally speaking, Dead Island 2 is an extremely well optimized game. Add on top of that, that it's not even demanding. Since the game is cut up into several smaller levels instead of one big open world. Starting with the settings menu, it has an acceptable amount of options. With each setting having a brief description of what it does on the right side of the screen. Although, I would have preferred to see in-game image comparisons. Unfortunately, the game doesn't offer a separate refresh rate option. Instead, it's coupled with the resolution you choose. Most settings have four different options, low, medium, high, and ultra. I found that there were a couple of settings that were basically useless since they do almost nothing. Another negative thing is that this game does not support Nvidia DLSS. It only supports FSR 2.0. Now I will leave you to it and only jump in if there is something important to note. This setting does not only control camera motion blur, it also controls per object motion blur. The texture setting doesn't really impact the texture resolution or the quality of the textures. Instead, it affects the texture filtering and more weirdly, anything above low textures also affects the shading of objects and models.
Foliage detail on low has static foliage. Anything above low starts to animate the foliage. And the higher you go, the longer the render distance is. Shading quality doesn't do what it says it does. It has an almost unnoticeable effect on image quality. I only found out that it does something by accident. FSR2 sometimes has lower performance than native because the GPU utilization has dropped. It's a bug that happened to me that I just want you to know about. After all this hard work, I'm pretty much disappointed that I couldn't squeeze out as much performance as I hoped. Since this game is already so well optimized, there isn't really any setting that can give us an increase in FPS with a minimal loss in image quality. But I guess this is a good thing since it means that the developers optimized their settings really well. <laughs> 